All right, it's press review, and you're welcome once again. Uh, let's quickly let you know that uh, we already have a guest in the studio to help us, uh, uh, you know, review the papers this morning. He's a uh, public affairs analyst and uh, comrade, Kanayo Obidibo. Welcome to the studio, sir. Thank you for having me this morning. Mm. You look good and young. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome. Let's run. We we'll start with stories making the headlines on the ABS website. Obiano congratulates new Namde Azikiwe University VC Esimone assures him of support. Anambra Deputy Governor Okeke receives Award of Excellence from CMO St. Anthony Kalik Church in Uguku. Police arrest armed robbery suspect in Anambra. Let's begin with that cherry news of congratulatory message to the new Nam Dezikiwe University Vice Chancellor. A very young man th at that. Yeah. What's your take? Well, I think. Uh... It is good. Uh, you know, in politics, uh, they were talking about uh, uh, bringing up the young ones, and that there's a bill for the young ones mm. to, <laughs> to contest, to, to give them opportunity. To run. Uh -huh. well, uh, I'm happy that from the, uh, the side of learning here in Anambra State, I think uh, he should be recorded as one of the youngest VCs in the Federation. Uh, because uh, from the CV, we found out that he is a new generation kind of uh, person. When I'm talking about, I'm talking about the new generation from the 70s. Mm -hmm. And uh, having been in the university com uh, community, and uh, he actually grew up uh, within the system. And he has seen VCs come and go. And he must have learned the rope very well. And we do believe that uh, his entry into uh, Namdeaziki uh, will bring more innovation based on the, the record kept by his uh, predecessors. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, the Anambra state government, they've uh, vowed that Anambra must be uh, free of crime and criminality, you know, uh, if not reducing it to the barest minimum. And this time around, police arrest uh, armed robbery suspect again in yes. Anambra State. Uh, it's, a, it's a welcome development that the police is actually complementing the effort of the state. The state governor uh, actually has provided uh, uh, security infrastructure. He has given vehicles to the police. He has given them gadgets for communication. And then uh, we now look upon the police to do their job. You know, most recently when the, uh, the two President General of Time Union, the responsible people within the uh, system, were shot dead in their community. Uh, I think the new uh, sheriff uh, is now trying to uh, tell the arm robbers, the bandits, the, uh, the hoodlums, that Anambra is not a safe place for them. And uh, I, I encourage the police to do more uh, based on the support they have been receiving from the state government. Amen. All right. The last but not the least from that uh, website says uh, Anambra Deputy Governor OKK receives a word of excellence from the Catholic Men Organization in, uh, at St. Anthony's Catholic Church in Ogoku. Uh, I think, as you know, I not a charity they say begins at home. Uh, the Catholic uh, men in Nenuguku, as a community that had the opportunity to have a deputy governor of the state, uh, I, I am not saying it's belated, but I'm saying they should be able to do more because the deputy governor, a young man who has been here, this is a second, a second join, missionary journey in the state, they should be able to encourage him and give him more accolade. All right, we say congratulations <laughs> to him there. Let's move to the first paper for the day, the Sun newspapers. Here yeah, stories making the headlines. Uh, the big one, Senate leadership tussle gets messy. A writer's day allegation of arrest plot before inauguration on Seto's NAS. Ndume, Lawan's camp in intense lobby over voting method. On top of the sun this morning, federal government playing politics with a papa grid lock. Sangwolu, Lagos governor elect, 
promises to resolve crises in first 60 days in office. Federal government alleged security breach plot diversionary PDP. Atiku demands 500 million naira apology from Buhari's aid. LG joint account call NFIU to other governors to other governors Ed Buhari. Boko Haram Fanikayode tackles Lamido over Obasanjo. We have killed mastermind of Ubek chairman's kidnap that's coming from the police. Big story. Senate leadership tussle gets mercy. Allegation of arrest plot before inauguration unsettles NAS. <laughs> you see, uh, <clears throat> the APC as a political party uh, have, uh, in the past four years went through this kind of uh, uh, troubled water, yeah. electing principal officers of the of this National Assembly. <clears throat> and uh, it is like going to be another repeat incident of uh, the, their house not being put together before they will go in to elect principal officers, having even uh, the majority in the house and they find it difficult, uh, which means that the APC as a political party uh, haven't gotten the internal democracy working in that party. Otherwise, uh, by now, they should have been able to know who occupies what position. In, in, in other words, you know, the saying that a house that is divided against itself cannot stand comes uh, to play. Of course, you know, the legislature is a very strong arm of the government in democracy. And the executive needs the proper synergy with the uh, legislature. And uh, now <clears throat> the APC is having problems. We have three powerful serious, well-connected contenders, the Ndume, the Lawan, and, uh, and Goje. So you can see that uh, it is going to be a clash of the titans. <laughs> and, and in that case, uh, the, uh, the PDP that are like wearing dog, they could cash in on that, and the same repeat uh, performance of the Okoremado uh, will, will, will come in. Who knows? It is like <clears throat> a time bomb by the by by i think on the sixth of next month uh, or the ninth of next month when it will be properly they will, they will lead, i mean choose their leaders in the house and if care is not taken the pdp will make an inroad in national assembly in both houses hmm. and the apc will struggle for another four years uh, to actually uh, 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 perform whatever manifesto they have to to the people of this country, because uh, you can you can see that most bills, most <coughs> most uh, uh, motions were left on past, and uh, it is actually touching on the people of this country. Or if the house is not in order, it affects the nation. All right, let's move to the next paper for review now: the Daily Times newspaper. Uh, the big story uh, in front of the paper says tension in Imo. Others over impending Paris Club funds release with a riot at their stakeholders urge federal government to withhold release of funds till after inauguration of incoming government. Uh, up there we have ahead MPC meeting. Nigeria's foreign reserves cross uh, 45 billion dollars as naira remains stable across forex segments investors record 212.58 million dollars turnover in one day down here we have uh, how mfla's appointment unsettled uh, tenable's camp financial autonomy presidential committee seeks adoption of federal budgeting model by state Sirika hails Enugu government over removal of safety impediments at airport. Starting tomorrow, what's unique about 12 incoming governors? Now let's look at the story of uh, Enugu State Airport. You know, uh, the federal government, the, sorry, the fan said they are going to shut it down if nothing is done about all the, you know, shanties around the airport that is posing a threat to the airport and immediately the state government swung into action and had the market removed. What's your take? You see, uh, in aviation and in most countries, airports are located where 
there are no existing structures, so they'll be able to have their runway, have all the, the landing equipment properly installed. And, and when there is an air disaster, because you can't take it away, uh, the casualty will be minimal. I doffed my cap for uh, Equaremado, uh, <coughs> I mean, who actually introduced the airport with uh, 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 Jay-Z, who was a former lady aviation minister. And today, there has an improvement for that airport to be a worthy international gateway. All right, let's see if he's here before we go on. Hello, good morning. Good morning. All right, go ahead. So, uh, they complain about the Oriel. Amen. 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 The and about the, the community, you know, community, even the attraction, they, they gave a huge support. Yes, you know, they talk the about the ABS mass there. Mm -hmm. And they, all these things have been taken care of. And if it is actually done, I don't see where, why FAN should not be able to carry out the operation. Beside that, uh, uh, Ethiopian Airlines is actually landing in Enugu. And probably they want more European uh, airlines to be coming towards Enugu, which is uh, very important to the southeasterners because uh, we don't have an airport that uh, is very, you know, it's not actually working. Uh, <laughs> all, all right, let's see. Hello? 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 Good morning. Good morning. What's your name? John Paul, for this morning. John Paul, you're welcome. Go ahead. Good morning. Oh, yes. As my contribution, I want to contribute on two major issues. One is on the appointment of the young death care professor, uh, becoming the vice chancellor of Indonesia. I really appreciate uh, the support that uh, the governor has uh, willed to uh, give him. And that is on that side. Then the second one is on the issue of uh, the annual uh, release of. Uh, I think that if we could go with me, that release comes after the nomination of the church uh, uh, governor. I think it would be no more way for the state uh, because the outgoing governors will see that an opportunity to them more than the need to work on time and then have their permission and what have you. If it's good or bad, if it's better or bad, that's all of the inauguration of the newly elected. Uh, the third leg now is the uh, leadership of the National Assembly. I think the city is unprepared and they are showing the case this time around. So if they are unprepared to put their house in order, then I see this leadership be catalyzed on that to create a city that is much as possible. So take this issue on. Thank you very Welcome. much, right, thank you. Uh, All right, let's quickly uh, now move to the next paper for review, the Daily Independent. Oh, the big story there, local government funds, governors draw battle lines, asked Buhari to call NFRU to order, says it is exercising power that doesn't belong to it. Well, on top of that story, terrorism tweet, Atiku gives Buhari's aide 48 hours to apologize, threatens to billionaire suit. Facebook leak exposes federal government, APC, as fraudulent PDP, while Samuel Lu won't probe Ambody's government. BPE's action on Auscon in defiance of Supreme Court's judgment, Jaja, why it's difficult to arrest, prosecute, vote buyers, ICPC. Please kill suspected kidnapper of Ubeck chairman. UN peacekeeping Nigerian soldier killed in Mali attacks. Dan Goten named among greatest global leaders. Nath will shock South in 2023 over presidency. That's coming from Tony Momo. Governors draw battle lines, ask Buhari to call NFIU to order. Says it is exercising power that doesn't belong to it. <laughs> you see, uh, it is good to have pre a presidential pronouncement on the issues in this country. And uh, one good thing is uh, 
I found it difficult uh, to uh, observe that when His Excellency Muhammadu Buhari uh, reaches an order out or instruction, and uh, it appears that uh, uh, people who actually renege on those things are not punished. So uh, a situation where there should be consequences for actions that are wrong or inaction uh, should be encouraged in this country. I, I think it's equally important for us to look at this story. You know, <laughs> North will shock South in 2023 over presidency. Uh, even yesterday in the news, I, I, I had uh, one of the lawmakers say that they should forget about the Southeast, you know, that the, 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 the South South are going to take it. Even, even Amechi has come out. To yes, it was, in fact, it was Amechi that the attack on his own by yeah. uh, some of the Igbo leaders. Uh, Okoria, Chepas Okoria has attacked him. Ohane's uh, uh, president said it's not, it wasn't going to join issue with uh, such a key statement. Reasons. Uh, Amechi is an Igbo. Whether he likes it or not, that name is an evil name. He's from Ikwere. And for him to say that Southeast should not think of a uh, presidency means that uh, uh, he is uh, uh, denying his originality. I am sure that most Ikwere people, Mwike is an Igbo, Omeha is an Igbo, and you are simply because we fragmented eastern region into several states and you are now claiming that southeast if southeast uh, is denied that presidency amechi is also denied that presidency if he doesn't know all right let's move to the punch <laughs> newspapers the last report but not the least for this morning's uh, review uh, the big story says gov governors neglect Health care as state hospitals rot away. Uh, that's the pictures we are seeing in front of that paper. If actually this is anything to go by, I need uh, we, uh, some of our governors need to have a rethink uh, because that story is not, uh, that picture is not palatable to the eyes at all. Let's move on up there. We have an NPC removes NPDC boss, 49 others in major shakeup. I'd end a proper gridlock within 60 days in office, Sam Wall is saying. NFIU guidelines on local government funds illegal, says governors. And that way we see, we see Islamization, Fanny Coyote attacks Lamido as ex-governor slams Obasanjo. Ogun community accuses Christ Embassy of land grabbing. A school gardener arrested for beating WASC candidate to death. Well, I think let's see, let's take a look at this story, you know, the neglect of uh, state hospitals. Uh, I don't know. You see, uh, the, the, the neglect on health care in totality in this country is alarming. We, we looked, we, we, we heard of the uh, health facilities that were being uh, managed by the, the federal ministries. And if it is the same position trickles down to the state level, it then means that this country doesn't have priority. Priority in the budgetary allocation should look at the health sector, look at the education, defense, and all that. And health, if not provided from the primary level, it affects uh, uh, the, the, the psyche of, these, uh, uh, of Nigerians because a situation where someone dies as a result of non-attendance because the health facilities, like we are doing some uh, 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 kind of, uh, you know, uh, taking statistics of health centers, their proximities uh, to the communities they are cited, and very soon we are going to come up with uh, uh, those kind of data to see if actually within, you know, UN standard. If these communities were provided with health facilities, more especially when we talk about the maternal care, we talk about the uh, that, uh, we talk about uh, 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 
Well, the equipment. Uh, yeah, it, the equipment is uh, is nothing to write home about because uh, you right. find out that the, the uh, power is not even mm, there mm. to keep the equipment All right. running. We, we we could go on and on, but mm -hmm. uh, for want of time, I, know. I think <laughs> this is where this uh, segment uh, terminates. Would like to thank you so much, yeah. uh, Kana. You're beautiful for coming. Thank you on very the much. Show. Thank you very much for having me this morning. And thank you so much for watching and for our callers. We appreciate you this morning. Let's do standby because we'll be back for more on Good Morning Anambra.